The list of places to visit in Mallorca is almost endless, with many sites and tourist attractions. From beaches to mountains, from cities to small towns, from theme parks to monuments. I've made a selection of six fascinating places in Mallorca that are worth visiting, if you only have three days to see the island. Mallorca is the largest of the Balearic Islands, an archipelago that includes Ibiza, Menorca and Formentera. There is only one airport in the island and its name is Palma de Mallorca Airport, PMI, is located around 8 km from the capital Palma. The reason it's recommended to go for the Palma Airport Caixa, beside the Caixa prices, is because then you can start exploring the island as soon as you set foot out of the Palma de Mallorca airport. And many users found Palma de Mallorca car rental options for less than 20 euros per day. The center of Palma is a bustling hive of activity with its cultural pursuits and pleasant shopping areas. After walking around the capital, I go to one of the most beautiful beaches near the palm, Calapi Beach. So, Calapi Beach in Thousand Mallorca is beautiful and quiet cow between cliffs. It is pretty remote but still easy to find and get to. And there is a car, park and incredible scenery. Calapi, mm, like Playa de Calapi on maps, was one of the busiest beaches I went to and I loved its setting in between tall cliffs and it just had a really nice vibe. So let's go further and what do we have on our day 2? The impressive Covas del Drach deserve a guided tour. These natural caves are something to behold with their countless stalagmites and stalactites. Inside you'll find one of the largest underground lakes in the world. Join the one hour tour and explore every chamber until you arrive at a large amphitheater where a classical music recital awaits you. Next stop is Sacalobro Drive. The famous snake road, constructed by Antonio Prieti, is one of those drives that you have to take while in Mallorca. Driving to Sacalobra through this road is a one in a lifetime experience. 
with best taken views along the way. Sacalobra is one of the most spectacular beaches of the Sierra de Tramontana on the island's western shore. It is perfect for swimming, hiking and contemplating nature. The first thing you must know is that it is pretty far from any town. A little more than an hour by car and the road is curvy and full of cyclists. For our last day in Mallorca, we'll head east, starting with a visit of Soler. More than a fascinating place, here we talk about a fascinating way to reach it. On a wooden train built in 1912 and unique in all of Spain. If you add a town like Soler, where you can take a walk through streets and all in different modernist buildings, don't forget to stop for an orange juice in one of its bars in the square. Take the tram to go down to the boat. To visit Soler by train from Palma is a great thing to do on the island. Our 
next step is Dayam. It is often called the village of artists. Located in the Valle de los Naranjos, like Valley of the Oranges, it stands out with its stone houses and tiled roofs, nestled amid rolling hills and citrus trees. The famous poet Robert Graves spent a lot of time here and other artists soon followed him. It's worth getting lost in the maze of narrow streets lined with galleries and boutique shops. When you are done sightseeing, you can always rest at the nearby beach Cala Della. Actually, I believe that this time is not enough to see Mallorca. You need to go for at least a week. Good luck to you. Bye.